Welcome back guys to Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth, where last episode after curing Rust Tyrannomon, we helped the Beamon who dreamed of the sky before dealing with some noisy Digimon keeping people up at night. Next we saw Angemon's two faces as he asked us to search for Devimon before we set out to meet Rina and Old Force Feedermon as we took them on in a battle. Now we set out with Hirata to increase his battle power as the whiteboard quests continue. Do I go sort that out first? I'm sure there's one further in. Right, of course, I can go high security and dodge encounters, but I don't want to dodge them forever. I mean, I'd like to get Rosemon digivolved and then fight a little bit to get some levels on her. Oh, wait a second. We're actually at the end of this place. Aren't we? Are we not? I'm wondering now. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> Went early there. Level eight one. Rosemont. This wasn't even your final form. But now your final form will be here. So is this gonna be way better? That's the question. What do we have currently? 10% chance of poisoning target when attacking. And fawn whip. Maybe we'll get a spell instead, because it seems kind of weird to have a physical attack when I'm Slightly more in valued, actually. Actually, not bad on the physical as that, but you need to specialize. Can't be all just straight in the middle. So here we are. To Rosemont Burst Mode. We now have little pollen orbicles all around the place. We're still plant type. I think we're a bit more specialized than it. Probably not, actually. Alright, our ability now is int penetrating. Strong light attack on one foe. Absorbs 50% of the damage's HP. Ah, penetration attacks are beautiful. Very good. That's so much better than what we had. And also, Tiflet restores 5% max HP every turn. Fast for everyone. And increases HP received from absorption effects by 20%. So now with Rosemont in the group, just naturally we have... Just a lot of extra stats, yeah? We just have passive heal for the party. I said if Harai here is ready for the fight, which it does seem to be the case, we need to switch off Rosemont. For this battle, we will get you in. Should we get Lotusmon in? Or Moraj Galgamon for the speed? I think we're ready. When I went with some Jude guys to take on Under Zero, we had been unstoppable and eaten up until then. Nobody could beat us. Adults, cops, nobody. We figured Under Zero would be the same way, even with his reputation for being impregnable. But we hit a snag when we got to the Owl. A security Digimon showed up and kicked our asses. It was a clean our wash. Back then, we didn't know anything about Digimon programs at all. We were only capable of doing analog hacking, which made us completely powerless to fight back. All we could do was grab our asses and run. Some of my buddies, they went crazy from the fear they felt. Even the guys that were okay, they saw what they were up against and lost confidence in themselves. The whole thing made it vividly clear to us that we were a little more than a pack of arrogant brats running wild. We let our pride get to us to the point where we bit off more than we could chew. Aye, you rise, the father you fool and all that. And one by one, people quit being hackers. It was the end of the legendary hacker group Jude. I felt sorry for myself and hate to see it go. It sucked being powerless to stop them from leaving the team. I also had a constant fear in me that I couldn't shake. Just remembering that time was enough to make me tremble with trauma. I didn't want anyone seeing me like that though. So I tried to buck up and make it seem I was fine. So that's why I see this as revenge. I'll make that security Digimon's power my own. Finally rid myself of this regret. I'm not the punk ass kid I was, was back then. I'm better than that. Better than my past. Now come on, let's go. So you're still standing guard here. Can't be happy. It's nice to see you again. It's the Holy Land Guard Knight. I don't... Who are you? Don't tell me you've forgotten now. It seems that I have, at the very least. You're not in my memory banks. <laughs> I knew it. 
I mean, it makes sense. Why would you? You'd be here so fast. I remember. Hell, I can never forget you. I don't understand what it is you're speaking of, but any intrusion will not be tolerated. Yes, of course. It's just how it went the first time, too. Seriously, this is great. We we'll don't have any other way. You're perfect just the way you are. Unlike you, though, I'm a changed man. My legs don't shake. My mind's cleared up now. I've grown up. I'm here to get vengeance for my friends. I'll kick your ass and march right on through. I'm going to lose this time. Not my friend Ollie's on my side here. We're subjugating this guy, are we? His accuracy's gone up. It's night mode. Isn't he just an ultimate? Just. Data. Which means my current mix-up is not really that good. But this will do very well. I'll just cancel that first, just in case. Not much damage. Definitely needs to be defense penetration. Okay, he's going to keep buffing himself with hit up. Fine by me, I guess. Oh, God. Like, no joke, he is trying this, isn't he? If everything misses on an attack and he's buffing hit up, he's got an instant death skill, and he's trying to buff himself to get extra hit. I know it. Oh, God. I mean, that was great, but can I really get through all this? What if he hits everyone? Too bad the skill I don't have is counter the other kind of thing. This is why we're getting a death thing. Oh, we won. No, we're fine now. It's all good. We lived. But you could say I got lucky. Because what if that hit? No wonder he defeat everyone in the blink of an eye. He had a strategy of instant death. And my Rosemont levels are well, the more interested in Rosemont's levels gets 18 levels. Got to get those stats back up. Shining laser free is learned by Magnodramon. Now, do I want to keep you as you are or lower you down at this point? This is a question. Where do I go with people at this point? I said it before and I say it again, I hate your luck. That's what was going on though. Of course we have no... Oh, hello. You did evolve. You know what? I feel at peace now. I've probably been a burden to you guys with Digimon I've kept with me up until now. But now that I've got this guy, I think I can go on with you all. I want to see this thing through to the end. <laughs> Don't make me say it, seriously. Damn it. Didn't I tell you before? Come with the staring already. Jeez. Don't we say thanks? Just turn into the villain of the first movie. It's fine. Investigation of Boye is done. I think with that, this case is closed now. So thanks. I'm gonna stay here a little longer and think if that's all right. And think if that's all right with you. Sure, we barely survived thanks to. Literally thanks again to the power of penetration abilities in Black War Grey One. Our best method of survival. Alright, let's get out of here. First movie? Yes. Are you saying that because you're like, Digimon has movies? Then hold your... <laughs> it's got so many movies. In fact, they've done like recent like five, six, seven... I don't even know how many movie things just based on the original series again. Movie length episodes. So, yes, there's many, many movies. Many movies. I say because that movie is old. <laughs> yeah, it's very old. 
Remember we have Death Barrier DX? Maybe I might want to put that on someone, you know? Might not be a bad idea, considering we might end up with foes like that. I take it the boys' right passage is over now. The final phase is at hand now. I hope there aren't any lingering regrets once it's over. Yeah, I really feel like I should put that on someone. 150 memory. What's your maximum? 255? Because that sounds like a computer maximum, isn't it? It's the max stats you could get due to old school programming, wasn't it? 250. I'd go 255 if I were there. Because you could only get like 255 max stats in like Final Fantasy 7 for a stat, if I remember correctly. And it's due to programming limitations. Am I correct or am I not with that weird memory being pulled back? You've got to get your sources. You've got to convert your sources in the underwater uh, plane. <laughs> get weird, ridiculous stats that you don't actually need. Ah, memories. What am I doing? Moving on, surely. Right, so our top is all done again. We've now got the parallel world quests or the great challenge quests. A girl from a parallel world and seven evils rampant in our will. I give you the wheel of fate that binds us all. These are giving a lot of stuff. Should we do Terramon's exclusive scoop first? It seems safer. <laughs> Go for the easy ones and the hard ones. <laughs> I must be the detective in charge. When the interdimensional wall broke down, I was sent from the digital world to this one. Right now, there are Digimon in this world that are afraid. Don't know where they are and think of humans as their enemies. I would rather not see humans as my enemy. I'd still like to think there is a way that humans and Digimon can coexist peacefully. But I didn't know what to do. So that's when I heard about you guys and how you've solved many problems for Digimon. So I would like you to examine you in detail. Please show me all the good that humanity has to offer. Examine me in detail? Yeah, we're going to eat together, sleep together. We'll be together all the time. It's going to be great. Well, it's sorry to interrupt, but I know it's sudden, but there's another case I'd like to take. It seems someone has run out of, on a bill at a restaurant in Shibuya. The restaurant staff is asking for help in tracking down the perpetrator. It's been a while since we've had a case fit for a detective. Please handle this one as well. You mean an actual detective's case? Ah, you're the detective, aren't you? Please, right this way! I sent in a request. I work in the cafe. Please, I need your help tracking down and arresting this criminal who ran out without paying. Early today, at around 2pm, a diner took up and left without paying for their meal. I was here in the cafe with my husband. As usual, I was dealing with the customers and my husband was cooking. Then I think it was about 5 minutes to 2, I went out the back door to go and phone my friend and I left my husband in charge of the cafe. While I was on the phone, I heard a voice cry from inside the cafe. It's a diner dash! So I immediately hung up and went back into the cafe. When I got inside, my husband wasn't there. He had run out of the cafe after the criminal. Before I went out for the phone call, there had been more than 20 customers in the cafe, but when I heard the shout and come back in, four of the customers had gone. So I thought my husband had gone out the criminal. I trusted the cafe to a regular I knew and went out looking for the missing customers. Wow, were you able to find the four missing customers in such a short amount of time? Honestly, I just got lucky. The dining and dash occurred about five minutes after I went out the back to make the phone call. These customers must have left during that time. Look at my faces. It's sort of a talent line. They even admit that they were all in the cafe. So I talked to each of them and listened to their stories, but I can't work out who it was. I'm sure one of them must be the criminal, but... So please, go and ask each of them about this and catch the criminal. Surely the only one who was lying would be the criminal. The other three have no reason to lie. Please investigate the crime. Uh-oh. A logic thing. Right, on Digilime. What kind of person is your mama? She's a worker reporting reporting abroad, not doing anything for me. <laughs> Dine and Dash happened at 2 p.m. exactly, right? At that time I had almost finished and had got up to go to the restroom. I returned and heard it's a Dine and Dash, and there was a commotion in the cafe. It had nothing to do with me, so I put my money down and left. Yeah, the shaman voice was definitely the waiter. The waiter? N Nisha was not the criminal. She she's a beautiful woman. I fell in love with her as soon as I first saw her and and I spent my entire lunch eating cheap spicy curry and staring at her. And after someone shouted out, it's a and dash, Nishio left the cafe. The criminal obviously ran out of the cafe before the shout. So where's Nishio? I was the one who yelled out, it's a and dash. The cafe owner man who heard me went running after the criminal. I was curious about the and dash, so after that I went straight up to the counter, placed the money there and then left. You can only see the criminal from behind. It was a woman. 
tried to run after it too, but I lost sight of both the waiter and the criminal. There was another person named Nyotsu here who left about the same time as I did. No one behind the till, so I didn't know where to leave my money, but she left it by the register, so I did too, and I followed her out of the cafe. I also heard someone shout about the Don and Dash, but I don't know who. It sounded like a man's voice. One man, shouting once. Okay. So where am I looking at? Would I like cake? Oh, I'm being offered cake by my wife. Yes. <laughs> but I can't eat it. Uh. The Don and Dash happened at 2pm exactly, right? Okay. You got to the thing. So they're, they're saying it's both the waiter. Well, that's shouted. Aren't they corroborating their stories, more or less? I don't know. I actually don't know. I have no clue. Well, they're saying it's the waiter who shouted, so... Was there a waiter then? There wasn't a waiter, was there? It was just a cafe owner man. He, he wasn't the waiter, but then... Ah. Oh. <sighs> There's more than one person mentioning waiter. I have no clue. How's it going? Do you know who the criminal is? No, I don't. I guess it doesn't matter because I'm supposed to find the husband. So I'll just accuse someone? Yes. The criminal is who? I have no clue who it is. Well, that's, that's odd because I think I have a hunch about who it might be. Hmm, I think the criminal is Ichihara. It was? Why? I got it wrong. Huh? Why me? What? I never did any such thing. If you pick up the criminal, let's see your explanation. Honestly, one of the four, out of the four customers, two of their stories most definitely didn't match. And then right all is. Yes. Sampei's love for Nishio real? Are you serious? But of course, in all my 32 years on Earth, I've never fallen for a real woman. Ah, oh, shut up. Get back to the point. Come on, Alice. Among the four people, there is conflicting testimony. Who actually shouted, it's a dine and dash. Was it the way or Ishihara? In that case, you would know your husband's voice well. Because you hear him all the time, right? I'm sorry, I just heard a loud voice cry out suddenly. I can't remember if it was my husband's or not. Oh, I see. What? Who's the waiter then? Uh, who's th is the cafe owner the waiter too? I'm really confused. In any case, isn't it strange that Ichihara said he was the one who shouted out, whereas Yotsuya claimed it was the waiter? That must mean one of them is lying, which one of them is probably the criminal, right? Wait, but then why are you accusing me and not the Yotsuya woman? Hmm, well, um, that's honest. Do you know? No, no, Terry Mom, don't let me stop you. <laughs> yeah, this has got my get. It's got my options. It's great. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Come on, Alice, you took this case on. It's your responsibility. Come on, you're the detective here. Show me how good you are. So basically, we should trust Nishio and Sanpei's testimony, right? Yes, according to Nishio, there was only one shout, so it can't have been both Ichihara and the waiter. According to Sanpei, Nishio left the cafe right after the Dino and Dash happened, and Nishio and Yotsuya left the cafe almost the same time. So essentially, there is no one who can back up Ichihara's story. So Yotsuya's alibi is backed up by Nishio and Sanpei, and they're not the criminal, so we can believe him. That means Yotsuya can't be the criminal. The criminal said the opposite of what Yosuya said. Yosuya told us the waiter shouted, but the one who said he himself shouted out was... The criminal is Ichihara. I... I... Don't talk such nonsense. I was definitely the one who shouted out. I called out to the other customers in the shop to warn them about what that stupid jerk was doing. I already told you. I ran out of the criminal. Why are you blaming me? You should be thanking me. Oh dear. I'm sorry. I couldn't catch the criminal. The criminal's here. Is this the guy? You, you're the one who done and dashed. Um. 
Oh, Mr. Peaceman, this guy here is the one who ran out on the check. This young boy ran out on the check on your restaurant. Alright then, he's coming down the station with me. Okay. Case closed. Wow, at least you really ask us, they say. Yes, I got all those answers correct. Right, back to the office. I'm sure Kyoko will want to congratulate you on a job well done. Yes, I did job. You there, hold it for a second. You're the one who tracked the criminal down. Wow, it's amazing. Quite a feat indeed. Thank you for your help in catching this diamond dasher. Or whatever. I'm done with this. Huh? <laughs> Such a bunch of chumps. Uh, what is this? Great job working that out. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter. Don't you get it yet? I'm a corrupt cop. How about now? I'm not a real cop. Ah, we should see your faces. We are members of the much talk about Shibuya Delight Gang. Members of Delight love the thrill of getting away with crimes again and again, and we're impossible to catch. But that's... Do you mean you actually enjoy running out on checks at restaurants, doing bad stuff and deceiving everyone? Tip of the iceberg, idiot. Do you really think that would be enough to satisfy us? You have embarrassed us, and we're all going to pay for that. We will have our revenge. First, I'm going to spread a rumor around that you couldn't catch the guy who did the dine and dash. Best detective around? I don't think so. Such a roundabout kind of revenge won't be enough for us. Catch me if you can. If you can, we're going to keep doing bad stuff. Ah! They got away. Where do you think those guys are going? I heard something. A gang of thugs who always cause trouble around this neighborhood to hang out at the Shibuya subway station. But don't even think about going after them. It's too dangerous. Those guys are criminals. So we should leave this to the police. Here's your fee. Please don't be shy. You did a great job tracking down the criminal. Hmm, I just... I'm a little worried about what that guy said before, about revenge. I know what it is. Revenge is when someone does something bad to you, so you do something bad back to them in return, right? Why would he say such a thing, though? It wasn't our fault he got arrested. It was his own fault for doing all those bad things, and he wasn't even really arrested. Nothing good ever comes from getting back at someone. Anyway, sorry. Should we go after those guys? Okay, let's do it. We're off to the Shibuya subway stations. Yeah, but we can do something bad to someone as long as we can reverse time. Not murderers. Those guys are trying to use Digimon for evil purposes. They're probably abusing them all the time. We never use humans for anything. I never want to have that kind of relationship with a human. Let's pet Terramon on the head. Thanks, Hollis. <laughs> Calm down a bit now. I wonder if those guys are in it. Let's go. Well, let's start looking through the Shibuya Digital Shift once again. It's many enemies, right? Do do just one shot this guy. Definitely was critical, yes. So just from having Rosemon in, I'm gaining all that HP back per turn. <laughs> That's kind of crazy good, isn't it? Right, we've learned final heal there. Do I even need that when I have final aura? You know what I mean? <laughs> 16 versus 40. I'll just keep final Laura, thanks. I didn't even think about the fact that I'm going to have a whole load of new skills. Have you ever been convicted of a felony? Not in this timeline! And I've never been convicted anyway. Right, let's go down to Rosemont BM. I know she's at the bottom of a list or something like that. She's right next to Rosemont. What skills do you learn? Mental break field? Ooh, that sounds nice. Revive and perfect revival as well, with safety guard as well. <gasps> safety guard? Is that that thing where you can, like, dodge stats effects? That almost sounds like it would be really good. I think it's people who, like, have crazy bad stuff. Prevent instant death. Sounds good to me. I feel I should put that on Magnadrimon. Instead. 
I guess I should go high security as well if I'm searching for these guys. I'm going through a lower level area after. We should just hunt them. Why are you hanging out down here, you idiots? Well then, you managed to find us, yeah! Took me like five minutes. To be honest, you guys just came in to be defeated by us, but well done anyway. You guys use Digimon, don't you? Well, we happen to be hackers too, so let's go! We have the better Digimon Masters, as you will see. Yeah, I brought this along with me. Use it to fight this idiot. What? What? Train Greymon! Ground Locomon! <laughs> This is a Digimon I found here around here recently. After we had a little chat or two with him, he became a nice to be a little slave. The pride and of delight has been insulted. Avenge me, little Digimon. Put the hurt on them, little. Oh yeah, of course you're gonna make yourself faster. Data, are you? means I have to change myself out. Luckily I've got a quite strong squad to follow that with. Speed charge field. Oh, I'm out of SP! Good job, Terrell. Oh, it did hurt for a bit. This guy moves pretty fast too. It's all about that extra speed at the moment. We need to get Black War Grey one ready to go. Oh, got poison! Seems to be pretty good extra damage added on. I'll take that. And now let's get penetrated. Oh, the damage. Can we just finish this here and now with Miona's mom? The poison might do it. Does he get worse the more turns is on? Because man, that took him out. In the meantime, that's some levels of Rosemont. 20k experience, Thunderful 3 is learnt for Tiger Vespermon. Oh no, he's learnt too many skills again. Morgan Man down. So Thunderful's the one I just learnt. But you didn't have Thunderful at all until this point? Okay. I don't want to get rid of then. Can I machine break one? Yeah, for now that works. Farewell well to you. I mean, Thunderfall 3 is way better than Meteor Fall now. Do we have any other physical attacks? No. Let's give you speed break. Works for me. More level ups. Rosemont to 28 as well. That didn't look good. Oh, ground Locomon. No, please, don't kill me. M what? But th that doesn't make any sense. How could that Digimon be defeated so easily? That Black War Greymon. Never. I'll never forgive you. Digimon are not tools for you to use. We're flung into this world we don't know. Every day we struggle with terror and fear. 
There are Digimon being terrorized by humans, but there are also Digimon who believe there can be friendship between humans and Digimon. That ground Logomon probably thought that. Humans are... Humans are... Yeah, I, I'm not always human. I'm your friend, Terrymon. Uh, Ollis! That's true. You're not like that, Ollis. Yeah, but any human is in trouble, and even Digimon like me as well. We haven't spent much time together, but even so, I know. You were kind and warm-hearted, Ollis. Like Ollis said, give yourself up to the police. Reflect on what you've done and set it right. Even people like you can turn things around, so I'm going to try to trust in you. Yes, I will leave immediately. Well, I guess this has turned out well then, wouldn't you say? Yes, we only got fought by a giant train. Well, Alice, I think that about does it for my case. You know, the reason I picked you wasn't just because you're a capable detective. I wanted to make friends with humans, but I myself was afraid of them, so I asked you guys because you have a good reputation among Digimon. Humans like those guys and I will never understand each other. Some part of me will always be afraid and never want to be around them. When I see you, I understand. Whether it's a Digimon or a human, you have a way of looking at someone and gaining their trust. So I would like you to be able to look people in the face and be honest, like you. I like to be able to make friends without being afraid. More than that, I want to go out and tell the Digimon in the world that there are humans like you, that they don't need to be afraid. And finally, I would like to ask you something, Ollis. My hand may be small, but Pinky promise? Promise me, however hard it may be, you will never give up. You will create friendships between Digimon and humans and do your very best. It's a promise. Yeah! Well, anyway, it was really awesome how you dealt with that case, Ollis. Thanks. Okay, I'm off then. See you later. <laughs> Investigation of Terrymon's exclusive scoop is complete. So we will take the reward. Master Disc. That's a Master Guard. What is Master Disc and Master Guard? Well, it looks like things just went with the client hope. You and Terrymon have both really grown up a lot, I feel like. We grew up, did we? I see Digimon on the farm's max level. And still the things about Digimon messaging me all the time. I've got too many in the farms now. They're just all messaging me endlessly. It will never stop. What is it I wanted to do? Pretty sure we've had a Master Guard before. Two tacticians USBs to use. To all attribute damage minus 10%. What's a massive disc? Ooh. So basically, plus stats across the board. Uh, a little bit more than what a normal disc would give as well. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Another tactician USB there. Maybe that master disc should go on someone. Right, what quest do I undertake next? Do I find out what this series of thing is? Or do I like this, all these purple quests with the seven sins? Or do I go for great challenge number one? They're all giving big stuff after all. Let's go for great challenge number one. Bit worried about this. Am I fighting just one opponent or multiple? Very worried. Well, at the very least, I reckon I'm probably going to be fighting Magnamon by the sound of things. That's what I'd say anyway, but let's get the, the, the squad out. And if someone gets destroyed... We'll just have to switch someone in. I hear you beat Reno and Elfall's feeder mom. It seems you're much stronger than before. I might have a few pointers for you. I've fought so many powerful Digimon now. I've tried to make a copy that goes beyond even their strength. How would you like to try a battle to test out your skills? <laughs> well, the choice is yours, but if you win, there could be an awesome prize in it for you. The first person you should talk to is in the Zaxxon forum. 
If you're interested, by all means, make your way there. Oh, this sounds bad. This does not sound good. <sighs> sure, I'll go to the Zaxxon Forum. You say way better than what it was? Of course, Viva Long really wiped me out. Surely nothing can go wrong, right? Not the first game over or anything. Oh god. Magnamon and Rapidmon? 2001 is a bit much! I think Rapidmon might be data, right? Depends what that Rapidmon is. Scroll down into our mega catalog. Magnamon is free. Maybe they're both free. Which means I've got no advantages, either defensively or. Oh. Yeah, this could be a bit more of a pain. I accept the challenge. I will show you just how big a difference there is between us. Oh, looking at the turn order, this could very much be the death of me. A one's a vaccine, okay. I mean, I could switch everyone to data based on that. Nerf one of their damages and then go for the other one, but I'm just a bit worried about like HP gauges I have here. Three ninety, he's also healing. His attacks hit. And they're not nice. That gave him a defense buff too. Who am I going to target then? First of all, I want to buff and I want to heal myself after that. So Lowest mod is dedicated healer. We also heal some stuff up otherwise. I want mental charge field to boof, boof my int so I can start using my int penetration attack. Do too much damage there, friend. Fifty free damage. I'm essentially using Lotus Mon to kind of stall the HP by healing. Our target is definitely you. Right, we need a couple of attacks and we can win this. If I could confuse one, it'd be amazing as well. Nope, of course they both block that. It'd be too good if I could hit them with something like that. Just wondering if I change... Yeah, I'm actually thinking of doing that. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I'm getting Slayer Drum on him. He has Speed Charge Field, but he also has a Defense Penetrating Attack. So with that in mind, I can use that to just... Uh, Kind of try to tank through. Do I speed charge myself or just go straight for it? Oh, this will give me speed up. Oh, that's exactly what I needed. Oh, 
one foe goes down, then surely the other one should follow. Rosemont needs some stuff. And she hasn't been leveled up much, so she doesn't have actually that much space for SP. Losing by the turn. So I guess what we did is we weathered the storm. Those more lost the speed up, I should probably have given them back then. Times damage, but barely did really did anything. Aquashant levels, it's a very good, very good ability. Wow, Rosemont BM. Made us so much better. We beat Magnemon. We beat Rapidmon. We got experience, most importantly. And on top of that, we got some Digi Eggs. They may or may not be usable. We could evolve a Magnemon as Becca brings home some beautiful chocolate cake. Oh, ah. Oh. Thank you. Reward chocolate. Investigation of Great Challenge 1 is complete. Job done. That's a bit more of a thing. So I guess that's what we're going to be ended up doing for the foreseeable future. Battles against royal knights, sometimes in tandem, able to do some serious damage. And I'm guessing I'm going to keep being called for more, considering that was great challenge one. Digi Egg of Miracles and a Digi Egg of Destiny. Also 100k cash. That was some pretty stiff opposition you were up against. Rest well now. You've earned it. I have earned it indeed. Did another one come up? Yes, of course did. Alright, it's Great Challenge 2, which is against next. You easily defeated Magnamon, the next one won't be so easily. Leopardmon is next. But really, we want to get into this parallel world stuff. Not them off the board as well. So we got loads of quests awaiting. Let's just go to the Digilab currently. Alright, I'm gonna de digivolve. No, I didn't need to get you up two more levels. So what I'm going to do in the future is I'm going to de-digivolve Seraphimon to get it so we can go up to Jesmon because it will have enough Abbey to get there from just going down at this point. Won't need anything else apart from that. I'm going to possibly feed Black War Greymon one of those meats to give it the extra Abbey that it needs. So then uh, you can digivolve with Metal Gloom on Black. Into Omnimon here, but I'm going to need more Virus Digimon if that's the case. Abby is 40 required. We've got all the stats we needed. I just need Cam 100% Metal Gloomon and the Abby 40. So there's an option. We're at the point where we could really go and do this kind of thing. And apart from that, I'm wondering if I can just, like... Digivolve and undigivolve Magnodramon Rather than Lotusmon because of all the nice heal abilities it's learnt. Like that one's got actually got Exoria on that. I don't know. But Abby 38 and like the ability is like 44 here to try and get Mastermon. Because what I'm thinking of doing, of course, is ending this session here. But most importantly, the reason for it is just so. I can maybe just get some Abby up. Maybe like Digivolve, Redigivolve, Undigivolve, some Digimon. A little bit. So that they are ready to fight these challenges. And that we can maybe go with some bigger, better forms. I feel like now is the time considering the end of the game is nigh. So with that we leave you with yet another Digimon episode. Complete. Done. Full. Join me next time. As we continue on with these battles against Royal Knights, find out what these hidden quests are, and maybe head out to the end of the game? We'll see. I'll see you then for more. Bye-bye.